Hey guys, what's up? It's Michael Zunky, and welcome to Road to Comp Cape Episode 7. So I have made quite a bit of progress in this episode compared to the last episode where I didn't do a whole lot. But this episode is by far the most progress I've ever had in a Comp Cape episode. So anyway, as always, just before I get started, the link to the entire playlist will be down in the description if you're curious about how the rest of the series is going. But if you look at the that the cape on my back, um, I am wearing a 120DG cape, and I decided to because I just got really tired of the max cape, I didn't really like how it looked, I'm really just ready to wear that comp cape, but I have been at Livid Farm for quite a while, um, in the past 24 hours, I'll show you what I did, I went from about 330k produce to 577k produce, um, in about 30 hours, it was a little more than 24, but still, pretty much ever since the bonus XP weekend ended, this is all I've been doing. So, I unlocked three spells, which was, oh my goodness, this was rough, I gotta tell you. Um, it has been bearable, though, I have somehow got myself to get through it. So I unlocked Spiritualized Food, Make Leather, and last one here, uh, Disruption Shield. So, three spells done. So I now have seven total unlocked. Um, and four more to go. And this one, the ninth one, Teleport to Trollheim, I'm kind of looking forward to that one, because that one actually teleports you straight to the farming patch on Trollheim, which I do a lot of farming runs, so that's going to be pretty useful. Um, but yeah, I have four more to go, so that's like another 20 hours, 18 hours, something like that, so I'm not looking forward to that. I guess it is 18 hours, because between the 10th spell and the 11th spell, that's really short distance, but normally it's like five hours between spells, but Teleport Group to Trollheim and Borrowed Power, that's like three hours between those, so yeah, 18 hours total. More of Livid Farm that I gotta do, um, and I do have clips of the uh, Dungeoneering levels that I gained, and I'll put those next in the video, um, and I will show you guys, uh, I guess, the full list and everything I need to go still, but one thing I did want to show you is, uh, this is Root Tracker, which I is a site I've been really getting into lately. Um, I like the Rune Track site better, but this is Rune Tracker. There's a difference. Uh, it's just an ER at the end. But um, this site basically tracks XP gains. So like if you want to see the top 100 in the day, um, you can see that. But my little accomplishment here was I got number one in the day for farming. So this is in the past 24 hours. Um, over one mil farming, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I did warbands last night, and I got like two farming tents, and then I did a farm run. I've done a couple herb runs, um, so that got me like oh, 350k XP or so, 400k, something like that, about 400k XP um, in farming, and then I got like 600k from Livid Farm, because that's how much Livid Farming I've been doing. And I had bonus XP in farming as well, and I also still have Refer a Friend, so I'm getting 10% bonus. Um, so that's how I got that much XP, because I had like 50k bonus farming XP, so, um, otherwise there is no way I would have gotten this much, because Livid Farm is not that fast per hour, but yeah, I had a lot of bonus XP, so that helped. So I actually outgained Drumgun, who is, like, the biggest no lifer in this game, so that's, uh, that's not easy to do, no lifing that guy. Um, out no lifing that guy, I should say, but anyway, uh, I'm going to, uh, show you guys my Dungeoneering clips, and then, uh, I'll show you what I have left to do for the Comp Cape, which is not a whole lot. Alright, so as promised, I did record um, all my Dungeoneering clips, so I did have a couple friends who really helped me out a lot. Uh, the guy was named RWC Vulpine, and he's pretty good at Dungeoneering, so basically I dunged with him and uh, a couple guys he knew a lot, and um, that got me about roughly half of the XP uh, between 117 and 120, because I was just past... I was pretty close to 118 when I started during the bonus XP weekend, but um, yeah, I got uh, a lot of XP, and mostly with him, but also with some randoms on World 77. Uh, the randoms actually weren't too bad. I got a sub-10 floor. I got like a 937 floor with uh, four other randoms just from World 77, so I was pretty impressed with that. I had a couple really good teams with randoms and a couple really, really bad teams um, with randoms. What they were doing is they are saying like host warps hop and what you'd do is you'd uh, get five people and then you'd hop to a world so you didn't have to dungeon the lag in world 77 yeah some of those guys were pretty good some of them were pretty bad but uh, all in all I got to 120 to engineering which I'm just showing you here um, it took quite a while I did about 10 mil dungeoneering XP two days in a row um, so like the first day of the bonus XP weekend after I did my summoning I got like 4 mil XP and then the next two days I got like 10 mil XP each day so that's a lot of dungeoneering but I finally got done with it 
So 120, uh, that was, I think, probably the biggest requirement for the completionist cape done. Um, and Livid Farm being the second biggest, but hopefully I'll have Livid Farm done in a day or two, well, probably two days, let's be honest. But anyway, um, that's about it for the 120 to engineering. Didn't have a party or anything, so don't worry about missing that, but uh, moving on. Okay, so really quick before we end off the video, here is the list for the comp capes. Not a whole lot has changed except the total level, which went from uh, 9592 last episode to 952595. I meant 2592 and 2595, whatever. And then, of course, the three spells. Spiritualized food, make leather, and disruption shield. So I, all I have left is four level of farm spells, bones to peaches, which I've heard does not take too long, tentalosis hunts, and the Dork and bork tasks. And uh, that's it. So I'm planning on maybe getting comp cape like within three days, something like that. I'm not sure. It depends on how willing I am to grind out livid farm. Uh, we'll see if I can keep up the rate that I've been going. We're getting like three spells in a day, which is insane. Um, or if I eventually get burnt out and quit and, you know, go back to Slayer or something. So I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, I will plan on having some sort of event for my comp cape. Not a big one, but just, you know, you can come see me get it if you'd like. Um, but I will update you on when that happens. So the next episode of the Road to Comp Cape will be uh, me showing everything else. It will be like the last one, me telling um, what time I'm planning on getting my Comp Cape. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys again soon. Farewell.